Hi, my name is Bokhadar Ahmedov. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about the cross product between the two vectors. And also, we're going to learn how we can construct an equation of a plane if you are given three points on this plane. Well, if you remember, previously we say that we need two vectors in order to construct an equation of the plane. So essentially, the normal vector and any vector which points out to this plane. So if you are given this two vectors, so essentially here, if you are given R0 and N, you can construct the equation of the plane. The, the main question is, what is the normal vector? So what, I, what we want now is, if you are not given the normal vector, how to find this? So by the definition, the normal vector is a vector which is orthogonal to all of the vectors on this plane. So essentially, which is perpendicular to the plane, which implies that it is orthogonal to all of the, all of the vectors on this plane. Well, the question is, we can, const we can construct a normal vector by just finding the vector which is orthogonal to some number of the vectors from the plane. So essentially, let's say you've got some plane like this, and you are given some vector, let's say this vector u. So the question is, is it possible to construct a normal vector which is orthogonal to just this vector? So obviously no, because this, this normal vector, for example, might look like to any direction in this plane, right? And the, and in, in this in, in this plane, so he, he may be rotated in this plane, so, so that it is still going to be orthogonal to the hue, but this plane is not fixed. Okay, so you know what I mean? So again, the question is, I would like to construct a normal vector. So I'm going to do this by finding the vector which is orthogonal to some number of the vectors from the plane. Now, if I know one vector from the plane, I cannot even, uh, I cannot, it appears, construct a normal vector because it is going to be rotated like this. So I have to fix this place as well. So that is why I'm going to choose another vector from this plane, V. And that's going to be orthogonal to the normal vector as well. So it appears you need two vectors from the plane in order to construct a normal vector. If a normal vector is orthogonal to any two independent vectors from your plane, it is going to be orthogonal to all of the vectors from your plane. So it appears it is just necessary to, to, to orthogonalize this normal vector to only two vectors from your plane. The question is, if you are given these two vectors, u and v, how to construct this normal vector n, which is going to be orthogonal to both of them? at the same time. Well, you can solve a system of linear equations in order to find the components of this normal vector n, but there is another more elegant way to get this n by just multiplying this u and v as the cross product. So essentially, the cross product was invented and developed in order to get a vector which is orthogonal to both of these vectors u and v. So as a result, we're going to get a, 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 so as a result of a cross product of a u and v, we are going to obtain another vector which is going to be orthogonal to the u and v at the same time. So please know that the cross product works only for the three-dimensional vectors. It doesn't work for the 2D and it doesn't work for the 4D. So the cross product exists only for the three-dimensional vectors, while the dot product exists for any dimensional vectors. And the main goal or the, the purpose of the cross product is to obtain a vector which is orthogonal to the u and v at the same time. So now I would like to give you the formula of the cross product, which is a little bit more complicated. Uh, so I, I would like to skip all of the details of this formula. I would like to just give you the formula and do some exercises. We're going to discuss the formula itself, its derivation in our other video lectures. So it appears you can obtain the cross product so of the two vectors, which are three tuples, so because it works only for the 3D, using by, by, by finding the determinant of this matrix. Well, the matrix is simply the two-dimensional uh, array, and you have to find so-called determinant of the matrix, and here is a formula to find this. And what we want is we would like to figure out not just the formula, to how to find a determinant of this matrix, because obviously it is a super complicated formula. So we would like to discuss a way or an algorithm how we can find the determinant of this of this matrix.
Well, let's, let's discuss this a little bit. So if you are given u and v, if you would like to find its cross product, what you have to do first of all is you need to create a matrix. So in this matrix, on the first row, you're going to write down i, j, k, which are the standard unit vectors. So i is 1, 0, 0, j is 0, 1, 0, and k is 0, 0, 1. So in the second row, you're going to write down the components of the u, and on the third row, you're going to write down the components of the v. Well, the determinant of this matrix is going to be found algorithmically in the following way. So we are going to go through all of the entries from the first row. We first choose the u, i, then we are going to cross out the row and the column where this i is located. So we're going to cross this out, and then we're going to find the determinant of this matrix which is left. So I'm just going to write this down. So the i is going to be multiplied as the determinant of the u2, u3, v2, v3. Okay, then by some reason, I'm, I'm just going to write down the minus, minus j. And now I'm, I'm going to cross out the row and the column where the j is located. So I'm just cross out the row and the and the, and the column where the j is located, and copy all of the elements which are left. So essentially u1, u3, v1, v3 is left. Then I'm just going to write down the plus k and do the same procedure by just eliminating the row and the column where the k is located, and by just copying out the element which are left, I'm going to get the following determinant. Okay, so that's going to be the determinant of the 3 by 3 matrix. So actually, determinant, finding the determinant is the recursive algorithm. In order to find the determinant of the 3 by 3 matrix, you have to find the 3 determinants of the 2 by 2 matrix. And analogously, in order to find the determinant of the 4 by 4 matrix, you have to find 4 3 by 3 determinants. And so on. So the determinant of the 2 by 2 matrix is very easy. So you, what you have to do is you need to multiply the diagonal entry. So u2 multiply it as a v3 minus the anti-diagonal. So the, the second diagonal of this, of this 2 by 2 matrix, it's going to be u3 v2 minus j times the u1 v3 minus v1 u3 plus k times the u1 v2 minus v1 u2. So, which is the same as this formula. So again, if you don't want to learn this formula by heart, and, uh, and you, you have to learn this algorithm, which is very useful. So at, at any time, you have a chance that you are going to forget this formula, but remembering this algorithm will help you always to recall this formula again and again. So let's do an example. So let's say now you are given three points and there is a plane which passes through the three points. We would like to find an equation of this plane. Again, so we know now that in order to create the plane, so again, so let's start from the beginning. So first of all, in order to create the plane, I need two things, the normal vector and the point on this plane. I have more than one point on the plane. The problem is I don't know what is a normal vector. So let's find a normal vector. So we've just learned that in order to find a normal vector, we need two vectors on the plane. But I don't have them. So I'm first of all going to create these two vectors on the plane. So I'm going to do this by just connecting P and Q. So this is going to be my first vector. And if you remember, if you would like to create a vector through the two points, you just need to subtract the starting point of this point, uh, of the, so the starting point from the ending point. So the first vector A is going to be obtained by just subtracting the coordinates of the P from the Q. So it's going to be 3 minus 1 and 6 minus 1, 3 and 2, which is going to be equal to the 2 minus 1 minus 3 minus 4, 6 minus 2, it's going to be 4. Also, I'm going to connect these two points, P and R, and that's going to be my second vector on this plane. So obviously, these two vectors are on the plane. So that's going to be B vector, and I'm going to obtain this in the same way by just subtracting the coordinates of the P from the coordinates of the R. It's going to be 5, 2, and 0, minus 1, 3, and 2. That's going to be 4, minus 1, and minus 2. Well, now I know two vectors on the plane. 
in order to find, so now I need to find a normal vector. In order to do this, I'm going to multiply these two vectors as a cross product. And let's do this using this determinant. So in order to find the, 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 the normal vector, I'm going to multiply the a and b as a cross product. So the a cross product is a b is going to be equal to the determinant of the matrix. Where on the first row, I'm going to write down the three standard unit vectors. So it's i, j, and k. On the second row, I'm going to write down the components of the a vector, which is 2, minus 4, and 4. And on the third row, I'm going to write down the components of the b, which is 4, minus 1, and minus 2. And again, you have two chances, so two ways to calculate this determinant. Either you just memorize the formula, put everything into the formula and calculate this. Either you're going to learn how to apply the algorithm to find the determinant. So the algorithm is in the following. So you're going to just eliminate the i. And you're going to write down the i times to the determinant of the 2 by 2 matrix, which is left, which is going to be minus 4 times is a minus 2 minus minus 1 times is a 4. Okay, then I'm just going to eliminate the j, and but I would like to, but I need to write this with the minus. Minus j multiplied to the 2 multiplied to the minus 2, minus 4 times is a 4. And then I'm going to do this with the k, so I'm just going to eliminate the row in the column where the k is located, so plus the k and the determinant of the matrix which is left, which is going to be minus 2, plus 6t. Okay, so let me simplify everything. So it's going to be i times is a minus 8, or plus 8, sorry, plus 8 plus 4, which is 12, right? So minus j, probably it's going to be plus. So 2 multiplied is a minus 2, it's minus 4, minus 16, it's minus 20, with this minus it's going to be plus 20. Plus the k is minus 2 plus 16, which is 14, right? Times is a 14. So which is going to be the vector which has three components. And the components of this vector are 12, 20, and 14. Well, that's going to be my normal vector, which is going to be orthogonal to both of the vectors, a and b, on the plane. And any vector which is orthogonal to at least two vectors on the plane is orthogonal to all of the vectors on this plane. So now we know two attributes of the equation of the plane. We know one point on the plane, and also we know the normal vector on the plane, and we can construct the equation of the plane. Well, let's do this together. So the normal vector is going to have the three components, 12, 20, and 14. You just need to multiply this normal vector to any of the points. For example, it doesn't matter. So, uh, but by the way, if you multiply the n as a dot product is a p, it is going to give you the same value as the n times is a q or n times is r. So all of the values are going to be the same so as a dot product, n times is r. Okay, so it doesn't matter which point you're going to choose, always you're going to get the same result. So let's just choose the q, for example, or r. r is going to be even better. So the n times is the r is going to be equal to 12, 20, and 14 times is a 5, 2, and 0. I just need to multiply 12 to the 5, it's going to be 60, plus 2 times is a 20, it's going to be 40, that's going to be 100. Oh, let, let's just check this out, whether it is indeed the same. So the n times to the p, for example, it's going to be 12, 20, and 14 multiplied to the p, it's a 1, 3, 2, right? 1, 3, 2. Let's check this out. It's going to be equal to 12 plus 60 plus 28. Indeed, it's 100. Okay, so that's going to be this D, if you remember in the formula. So the rest is going to be, so the equation of this plane is going to be the components of the normal vector multiplied as x, y, and z. It's going to be 12x plus 20y plus 14z is equal to 100, which is the multiplication of the normal vector to any point as a dot product. So that's going to be the equation of the plane through the three points. Well, today in this video lecture, we've learned about how we can multiply the two vectors as a cross product.
So we also discuss why we actually need this, what is the meaning of the cost product between the two vectors, and also we've learned about how we can construct the equation of the plane which passing through the three points. Well, thank you very much for your attention. I hope that this was helpful for you.